What up everybody, Mark Galloway here. Vlogs are back and it's a long story. I mean, I went through some hard times and it was a long shot but I managed to get things fixed for the most part. I got access back to my channels again, especially to my PC where I can upload videos from the PC after recording from a camera. So now I don't have to worry about using a phone anymore. So um, this weekend, um, I am going up to Saragota, New York, um, at the county fairgrounds right up there. And I was actually, I actually reached out to Versus Monster Trucks. That tour has actually been around for about two years, I believe now. And uh, they're actually doing pretty good so far. And they actually managed to get to an indoor arena. Not like the NHL or, N or um, NBA. N none, of, none of those other uh, arenas that Monster Jam goes to. They actually made it to the Toyota Center, which is like a small arena up in Syracuse, New York. But so far they're doing pretty well. And um, they're bound to be pretty much up there with um, Overdrive Monster J uh, Overdrive. Uh, Overdrive Monster Truck Tour. I mean, this is their first year. They did just start it, but they're off to a solid start. Uh, Monster Truck Third has been around for years too, and they're they're actually in their decade, and they're still going strong. And uh, yeah, so pretty much they could be up there. But anyways, I reached out to them, and they actually gave me a shot to work on their on, to work at their shows as a as a volunteer. So and that's great. And at this moment right now, I don't I don't care about getting paid when I'm pursuing my career goal as a monster truck driver or working at the shows if, as long as I get a taste of learning what it's like to you know be part uh, of like learning the ropes and getting behind the scenes and taking a step you know that's good because like you know it helps me get closer so right here I'm actually packing I'm actually almost finished packing um, I made sure what kind of clothes that I need to bring I'm just gonna get some rest and then just pack the rest of my stuff tomorrow morning and um, I'll show you my uh, my crew shirts uh, I might need to get more in the upcoming days because like there's gonna be some times where I might need to work about two or well two days which is fitting but I might need to get three days too so right here this is the first one and this is the second one I actually got these shirts at AZ Fancy um, if I, I could be saying it wrong, but I think AZ Fancy is what it was. So, if I manage to uh, find it, maybe I'll, you know, credit them. I'll, I, well, I am crediting them, but I hopefully I might put them in the link or something. Uh, so, right here we have this particular shirt right here. The most common shirt that people use when they work behind the scenes is, is neon, neon green. So right here, this is kind of like in the style of a motocross, but it's more like, kind of like in a work style. So right here we have, um, we have the black version. As you say, it says hashtag Mark Crush right there. You can see the American flag right there. And Versus Monster Truck actually has like a red, white, and blue symbol throughout it. So it makes sense. It's kind of fitting. And right here, this is the gray version. Well, just this part is just mostly gray. And uh, on the back... Oh, it has this gray thing right here on the side, but on, right here on the on the back, it says intern crew member. Same thing right here, and this is gray, so the lettering is in neon neon green, and the lettering here is black. But yeah, so I got two of them. I might get more in the future, but so far that's what I got so far. So I'm gonna try to still vlog as much as I possibly can. And what they said on the weather is that it's supposed to be a little bit stormy throughout the beginning of tomorrow and then but but around showtime it's when that the weather will clear up. So I might not do as much vlogging as on Friday, but if I'm able to, I'll hopefully try to get some footage of behind the scenes around um around Saturday. Uh, just um, if I'm not a if I'm also not able to vlog for the most part, that means it's just that like I still want to try like focus on what I want to do to pursue my to pursue more um, opportunities going forward as I still continue to strive to become a monster truck driver. So yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna hit the hay and we'll head up to upstate New York tomorrow morning. So I'm out here at the hotel now. And I'm actually in my shirt. Um, so what happened, like when I was booking the hotel, 
um, I tried to message them saying that like I'm gonna check in I want to check in at this approximate time and the time right now it's uh, about eight o'clock and well it's actually 758 or 750 well it's about 759 any second but either way I said I wanted to check in around 8 p.m. Uh, 8 a.m. tops but they only said subject to availability and even I even said around this date where I'm supposed to check in but uh so I, I went to check in and they said not until two o'clock like so like I actually explained that like I'm not supposed to be back until like later in the night and they said it's okay which is good because like they'll make sure that the room is you know still available and they'll make sure that like uh everything's all set up but um but <sighs> I have no words but he said it's okay as long as you're still here before the end of the day um, you're still available to check in so that's a, it's, it was unfortunate and they did they did reassure me that my name is on there and I told them what my name was and yeah and also I forgot to get my bathing suit but I guess it's no big deal I mean I'm still they also have a spa and everything else I didn't think to bring a bathing suit I don't know why they do have one that's indoors and again I don't know why I probably it's just that like I probably was not really thinking I just think just thinking I had everything I need which I do but it's just that like well why not but anyways I'm probably just gonna head out just hit some breakfast real quick and then we'll head over to the facility all right I'm at this restaurant called the iron roost and so far the menu looks pretty nice and they have their own retail store. I have a peanut butter, oh, sorry, peanut butter and chocolate brownie. I have a one cowboy style cookie, which is actually, I think it's a mix between nuts and chocolate, if I'm mistaken. And I also have a, a strawberry white chocolate scone, um, which I'm not gonna take out at this very moment. I'm very busy looking at the menu. People are really nice. I'm just waiting to place in my order. And uh, nearly have a half hour until they start letting the people who work there in. Although there will be someone up front to sign on, uh, anyone who have uh, or are working there. So just make sure hopefully things go smoothly. So right now in the meantime, I'm just gonna place in my order. So right here we have the waffle sticks and right here we have some Nutella and homemade maple syrup. And this is the egg, egg sandwich and I it had, there's a pork sausage, mozzarella cheese. I have one egg that's, um, I said I, I asked that I wanted uh, like Lightly cooked, so the some of the yolk is runny, and I have like a, and I have an extra yolk, an extra egg in there that's completely fried. So we're gonna try out the waffle sticks first. <coughs> <coughs> try to get this a little bit closer. Oh, there we go. So right here we have the waffle sticks. Dip in syrup. Good. There's times when the syrup is like not exactly made, but like this is this well in the menu it's actually said to be real maple syrup, but it's still good. Okay, now we're gonna try it in the Nutella. We're gonna try to get as much on here as possible. It's good. Pretty good, for, pretty good for what it is. It is waffle. I mean, you know, nothing special, but still pretty nice. Okay, now we're gonna try the sandwich. This is the part I'm really excited about. I didn't ask for any kind of it, but I don't think it really matters, but here we go. hot in areas. It's really, it's really good though. Okay, yes, yes. so the rope, the yolk is not entirely runny, but it's no big deal. And I asked that I wanted to have like a plain bread, so I asked for a whole wheat, so it, but it looks like it gave you right bread, but still. Really good sandwich. So far, really good. I'm not a big fan of this orange juice. Like, I know it 
it's supposed to taste like it's homemade, but yeah, just not really that impressed by this juice, but it does mean well for what it does. It's really good. So I actually just finished my breakfast. Pretty nice. So just thought that like since we, I still have a few minutes to kill since the fairgrounds is like right down the street. Just thought I'd show you this. Look at this sculptor. Um, don't know if it's a res represent the name of the town, but I, it's made completely out of wood and it's completely surrounded by birdhouses. B S P A. Lots of cool looking birdhouses. We have one that has the symbol of Batman. One that kind of like represents a gingerbread house or from Candyland. Pretty cool. Rainbow. And also, it's not just this. There is this building right there. Oh, there's like some of made out of ornaments. It's sort of like a, just basically a small park. This looks really, really nice. There's also, oh, this big, this big, uh, this big wooden house is supposed to represent a birdhouse. The Alfred Solomon Memorial Birdhouse. You can see like there's birds, uh, uh, bird sculptures sticking out and inside of it. Oh, that, there's one that has like, like street stickers on it. Uh, that black one, I don't know if you can see it. That one, which is rainbow and has like a Woodstock symbol on it. And there's a Garfield one up there. And we have right here, we have a, this is a bird that's made like, from what it looks like, it's made out of both ornaments and time watches. I'm gonna take a 360 around it. Oh, uh, there's a outer space one. That's really, that's really well done. Oh, there, there's SpongeBob, right here. Desert. We have a bear on top of one. Oh, and there's one with ladybugs. Lots of really good ones. Oh, that one, it's kind of hard to tell, but, well, it's not very well put together, but that one's supposed to be like Spider-Man from what it looks like. So I think there's people putting together birdhouses. Oh, and there's a po Pokemon. There's supposed to be like, um, I think there's people that are just putting birdhouses together and bringing them down to the sculpture so they can have it like, uh, place it on here. And, uh, there was one just, there's one just put together with decorated sticks and the American flag. So that's just about it. Birdhouses uh, look pretty well done. Oh, and just a little fountain. I don't know if this was supposed to be a drinking fountain or I think it's just a fountain just for show. But pretty cool. There's actually birdhouses on like every block. This one has like ice cream bars and such. Yeah, so this little town like right here in Saragota, you can see that um, for how far this camera can zoom in, there's birdhouses right there. There's birdhouses right over there as well. My car's parked like right here on the around the corner, but right here, more birdhouses. There's like birds around this area that can like basically gather around or something. And right, even right here at the parking lot. So many bird houses. Kind of like represents freedom and peace for the birds. There's even watermelons and yeah, lots of bird houses. Okay, so we're, hey, we're here at uh, Saratoga Fairgrounds right now, so we just had a... We just had like a small meeting. So as far as uh, for me as a first time uh, volunteer at one of these shows, so I'm not going to be doing so uh, many major things around here. Basically what I will be doing helping around is that like we're just going to be like exploring like, you know, behind the scenes right here behind me here. We have like a few 
are the crush cars that are bound to be painted, which I might most like, which I might be doing. I have my gloves and I have my safety goggles uh, for right here. And uh, we are actually given uh, access to the stands, the stands. And like I said, like for me personally, I'm not going to be having like so many things, but basically for the most part, I'm just getting like a, a few touches of what goes on behind the scenes as volunteers that goes around here. So um, keep you, I'll keep you guys in touch once I get my assignment ready. Two bonus rounds. We have what's left of this window and also we have the back of this window. <laughs> <laughs> Take a quick look at this. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh I got my finger. Got, oh, my, got, my, got my pinky a little bit. Ooh, careful, yeah, but bro. I, but yeah, if you, you see, as long as you're okay, just you careful enough, you can get a little bit of glass out. Exactly, exactly. No golf carts for you. They got, dude. They literally have books in here. <laughs> like they're, are we crushing this stuff too? Or they have books and stuff oh, in here? Oh yeah. yeah. Or if you really, if, if you really want it, this holy is, crap! Want a CD player? What? A CD player, oh. but a CD book. Oh. They have a CD player. <laughs> yeah, there's a CD book right there. Oh, holy man, crap! Man, a CD book. Okay. I'm not touching it though. Hey, hey. The so, freaking airbags are out, bro. <laughs> this is why. This is why you always. Need <laughs> My main man, Mark Crush, hey, hey. about to do some glass work. I suggest you stand back for this. <laughs> one, more, one more time. Yes, sir. One more time. One more time. All right, go, go right here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ready? Ready. Holy crap. Mr. Galloway here has found a chainsaw. Oh, my God. Be careful, dude. I didn't see that. Oh, right here. Look at that sucker. Oh, shit. There's, there's oil. oh boy. <laughs> Bro, that's gnarly. It's apocalyptic. <laughs> Look at this man breaking mirrors and breaking glass. <laughs> there goes that mirror. Yes, sir. Nah, that window's too tough. <laughs> Glass. All right, so we we just basically had a talk with uh, we didn't meet everybody yet We actually just met Cliff out everyone's still sleeping. So we what's what is this? What is your name again? My name is Corbin Hurley Corbin Hurley, so he's one of my uh, one of my friends and co-workers for uh, For the show here in Saragota. Hey guys like so he's actually gonna have a gig up in the announcers booth from what I remember on the in the meeting I am yeah, and, yeah and we actually had a little taste like I didn't get this on camera I, because I think we were just like just having a little bit more too much fun but yeah I actually did some smashing and uh in it, with the cars I there was a couple of windows that weren't smashed up there was a couple of mirrors um as for, I, I, he actually has it from his phone if he if oh, yeah he, if he met if he sends me the footage it'll be on the vlog for sure but uh we had a little bit of behind the scenes we had a talk with Cliff L about like what it's like to be on these tours and what the monster truck tours were like back in the day. It's in, that's pretty much where we're at the right now. The golden era, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And we even talked about like why there's like certain tours like this one that why they're not in like, while Versus Monster Truck did go to like a small stadium, the Toyota Center upstate, the reason why they're not in stadiums or arenas at this very era is that because like, I brought up what happened to the major league of monster trucks which was the shows I watched on the monster blog back in the late 2000s is that like they were they were great shows definitely amazing shows definitely would have recommended but the thing was is that like it wasn't so much that the tickets failed they did actually fail at certain point in times it was just mainly because like the facilities their equipment way too much for them to handle so didn't do well financially so yeah that's how a lot of tours are, though, because we have a soccer stadium. I'm from Rochester, New York, so we have a soccer stadium that isn't really used that much, so I mentioned that to a lot of different tours. I mentioned it to Renegade and um, Toughest and a couple of different tours like that, besides Monster Jam, that, hey, we have a soccer stadium that's vacant. If you want to use it for, like, a show or something, go ahead. And a lot of them responded with, hey, we don't really have the budget for it just yet. You know, we're kind of working things out. Yeah. It's a little bit too much for us. Yeah. That sort of deal, and that's totally cool, but... You know, one thing that a lot of these tours have, with exception, or 
in comparison to Monster Jam is they don't have the, uh, I'll say, set, for lack of a better term, that Monster Jam has. By yeah. set, I mean things like budget, I mean things like staffing, um, stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, we even talked about Monster Jam off camera about like what they could do is that like they have all, like they would like say they have all the money that they could use to do whatever they want, like to even to bring it back to most of its prime. But like they just basically use it as like they would just want to do things the cheap way. They do 3D bodies, like whether to whether they want to listen to us or not, they just like want to do what they want. But like, um, but yeah, sincerely though, they have the money to just go wherever they want, uh, bring back trucks wherever they want, use um, any obstacles that they use. They would have all the money. But like, but like sincerely though, it's like they just want to do things cheap in this era. I'm not gonna go in too much about that. We can definitely talk all day about that. But we talked about like a lot of things that that, that we would like them to improve. Especially, we even talked about like the prominent tours that they managed to do when they were still doing great, like Path of Destruction, Summer Heat, all that fun stuff. But like, uh, but I bet you guys get the point there. But like, uh, just um, just thought we'd give you a little tour, a little touch on where we're at right here with the behind the scenes. So for some of us interns we're not gonna or volunteers we're not gonna be doing so much oh they're starting to paint the cars um i'm probably gonna go over there do a little bit of touch on that i'll get, i'll catch back to this guy in a little bit so and hopefully before uh it starts raining out from what we saw um i'll hopefully catch up with the rest of the drivers while i'm still here so i'll catch back with you guys in a bit okay awesome okay so we're basically painting the cars right now so I'm going to do this car. The footage is actually going to be muted and speeded up just so you can get a little concept of what it's going to do. I will show you in normal speed just to show you that I will be painting this car. But it's going to take like about 5, 10, 15 minutes to get the whole car painted. So, um, but yeah, I will give you a touch of what it's like to paint a car. It's going to be messy but at the same time pretty done and simple. So you're obviously not going to feel anything right now, so I'm most likely going to be moving the camera up in the announcer's booth. Reason being is that like it's going to be raining, it's starting to drizzle a little bit, and by the time it gets to like the mid to late afternoon, it's going to start to pick up a little bit. So the camera's going to be moved up to the announcer's booth, and that way you'll be able to still see me paint this whole car up. So, get, so I'm going to move you guys up. So slight change of plans. So I don't know if you guys are able to make out the fuzzy background, but you can definitely see it's raining a little bit. Not badly, but it's picking up now. We didn't think it was going to rain really badly until later in the day. But yeah, we're going to put some work on hold until it starts to drizzle down a little bit. Okay, guys, here we go. This is how you paint a car for the Monster Truck Show. That's how you paint a car. We now have pouring rain coming down. I don't know if you can make it out through the trees and such, but it's starting to come down now. So this is supposed to go on for about uh, three hours. Was that what it said? Oh boy, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. So um, so he's just uh, getting some behind the scenes, uh, just some going over some notes right here. And oh, you could probably make it out a little bit more over here. You could really see the raindrops coming down now. Yeah, yeah, yeah we were just uh, we were just back there with the guys um, talking about like getting more work done and such like that. And uh, zoom out a little bit. And um, I also talked to Brandon just now about getting more gigs. So he was um, um he was fair with what we talked about. We talked about like. You know, when it comes to like after the sh when it comes to working on the truck, we prefer it would be all right if you did come like after the show to see if we can like get something done for you. Since, but since you're not like a member of the crew yet, he wasn't. You know, he wasn't being disrespectful. He was fair, but uh, but but preferably like he would say it would be better if you just if you just um 
come on the day of the sh first show to come and tie her up and then like I even talked about like well I didn't get the chance to help you tie her down because I had another show going up there and I we also talked about what it'd be like to get more gigs since I'm coming at like a certain point in time where I need to start volunteering at more shows to work my way up and so and I know I I even have brought this up to Cliff that I need to also work with other teams and such which is bound to happen at some um, some per, uh, some sort um, some point in time and uh, so that point is actually going to come at, a, at one later point in the future, but uh, but I already talked to Brandon and hopefully um, hopefully I get, can get some more gigs and opportunities since the year is at a half point in time and hopefully though um, I'll be able to get more gigs with whether if it's Versa Moss Truck Tour or Moss Truck Tour and hopefully I'll get more behind the scenes work work my way up. So that's probably where that's very much where we're at right now. So we have um, the skies are clear right now. Don't know, hopefully it's going to stay like this for m most of the day, which I'm sure it will be. It's supposed to clear up by right before the pit party, as far as I remember. And um, I'm also going to hope that we can find like an ATM somewhere around this park so I can get some stuff. I don't think they're going to take cars. But uh, yeah, I'm also hoping that like what I can do, like, so we know that like volunteers are supposed to sit in the bleachers over here just hoping that what I can do is to uh, maybe like throw some t-shirts to the fans and such or any kind of merchandise don't know for sure if that will happen but it would be cool if we were to be able to do that so we have um, we have he's supposed to look up some um, RC uh, hobby stores to try to get an RC car for here and this is what the tracks gonna look like we have a Van stack all the way over there for freestyle, and this is supposed to be like a time trial thing, kind of like what they do at Buck Motorsports Park. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, what it's like to explore the track and get some behind the scenes. Perfect. 
thank you. Can you just leave it? Yeah, there was.
prefer to win you lose. Yeah. Must be nice. I do that DC drive every so every like month to two months. Well they closed 95 on me yesterday, so. Why? Uh, some bad accident, but still, like, they only just closed. Oh, <laughs> they only closed. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, in general? Yes. Somebody want to help me on the table? Yes, sir. Yeah, you probably have the patience to do that. Uh, I love your car factor, so it's literally all patients. How uh, Sure, I have access in here. Yeah, I will. I just want to get it on the table. Okay. No, you're Buffalo chicken, cheese, pepperoni. This is our lunch for the crew members only. So no customers can, no customers, attendants can buy these. Just, just, ki just kidding. That's only if you can. But this is for track crew members only. So Baron just got his new car right here. So what is this again? This is an Arma Granite. Yeah, the Arma Granite. He actually just bought this uh, not too long ago, and uh, although the battery's not like completely charged, as far as I know, he says it's ready to run. He wants to give it like a test run and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do some tests on here. Put the clips on in there. We have some donut action going on here. Oh, first rollover. A big heaven rollover. Yeah, he's back on all four BKT tires. They're both in the ditch. What? How? Oh, my brand new hay dudes. Oh boy. Colton Kaiser's going to be awfully mad at you. Why? Because I hate it. It's an even brand. They don't look good. They look dumb. Where's the finish line? That ramp? Yeah. Oh, I think we gotta go down there. This is what we like to do in our spare time. All right, so I don't have much battery left on the camera, but yeah, so we basically got most of the work that we were able to get done, and uh, the pit party has 15 minutes left, and uh, 
Yeah, so I'm going to be, I don't know if I will have an interview with Jeff or not, but I'm going to be at the grandstands, and I'm most likely going to be filming from my phone as I don't have much uh, battery left on the camera. I didn't get my cord, so yeah, so I probably won't be uh, vlogging much for the remainder, but I will update you what goes on through my phone. So yeah, this is where we're at. So we can start tonight's event, ladies and gentlemen. Stand here with one of my buddies. This guy, I'll tell you, you've traveled some miles in the last few years. Mark Galloway. In just a little bit, you're going to be in your character as Mark Cross. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the hashtag Mark, uh, hashtag Mark Cross character was based on a mix of uh, monster truck driving, Canadian, and professional wrestling. I just felt like I uh, wanted to get a little bit more cre uh, creative rather than just acting like a normal human being. Also today, like uh, I had a little bit more experience of what it's like to work at behind the scenes at these monster truck shows and uh, process, a little process. If you guys were to maybe want to be a monster truck driver, just take some steps at a time. And I don't know why I didn't take my phone out to do the interview instead. I just thought, I guess I just thought I had enough battery power in my camera to uh, at least get a, at least get the interview. But I shot what I could. I'm probably gonna cut it out on the first part of the uh, first part of the interview. I don't know why I didn't take my phone out. I like to think that someone uh, took video of it, but I don't know. I kind of doubt. I actually doubt it. But uh, yeah. So I had my interview was basically just a mix of like what I am, just a regular person, and what hashtag Mark Crush uh, would be like. But but yeah, I did an interview. It was pretty solid. Nothing special. Ran out of breath, and I really gotta could I really gotta control what I gotta say when I, once it comes to that level when I'm on the mic but yeah and yeah so didn't get a big reaction not so many people here right now which is probably going to happen uh, once Saturday comes but yeah for what I said I actually uh, managed to get a little bit of a reaction and uh, the interview like although I would have uh, although I wish I could have gone the whole thing I did what I could and um, it was still pretty solid for what I did so I'm not going to get some something to drink got to get something to eat real quick and then we're going to get ready for a good show so we have like a, a quad wars going on right now. Uh, right here. And look at this, guys. A pizza with pickles, garlic, mayonnaise. Mm. I know there's going to be some of you who say that this is disgusting, which some of you do, don't like pickles, but I personally think it's delicious. If you want to try this, if you like pickles on pizza, give it a shot. Kind of like what Michelangelo would do. All right. Now, in the next clips, there's going to be some highlights of the show, but I just thought I'd show you some. Look at the size of this mozzarella stick. Uh, let me give you out of the sun. Look at the size of this mozzarella stick. Quarter pound. Oh, it's starting to break it. Mmm. So good. Oh! 
Okay, so we're about to get into the last quarter of the show. And uh, so I'm not going to be sure if I'm going to get any more highlights uh, for tonight. Being that I want to help my friend uh, film uh, what he can on his camera. So, um, but yeah, I've been more of the hype man and security guard, kind of. When I'm standing like right here in front of the stands. But uh, yeah, so I might not get any more highlights from my phone. So, um, because my... Well, for one, my battery's almost dead here on my phone, too. But I mostly want to get some footage for my friend, too. So, uh, yeah. But we're about to get into the last part, portion of the show. So, that's the end of show number one. So, I actually also had a talk with uh, Jeff that, like, if maybe with hashtag Mark Crush, the character, I was thinking maybe I could use that to call off PJ Hall. He's coming. Uh, but, um, but he said we'll probably work something out on that. But that's my cue, so I'm gonna head back to the hotel, check myself in, and then I'm gonna do like an errand or two. And then that's my cue to hit the hay for the night. It was just, yeah, it's, yeah, it's closed. Uh, I was probably, I was gonna put my gloves and goggles, I decided not to, but uh, maybe, well, tomorrow for sure, that once I'm out for real, then I will. So yeah, let's hit the hay. Day two, last day, um, so, Oh, by the way, this is the second shirt I'm going to be wearing for the day. So there's not going to be much that, uh, going to be around. There's not going to be much done around the facility. It's just been, going to be like warming up, getting everybody together. But what I will have, what I will be doing is that I, I will be taking pictures to share on social media. I also, I, because I, mainly though I have to, you know, share it with the versus monster truck tour and, then um, I'll just be sure to tag them in and, um, basically that's all i have to do but if anything does come up then then hopefully uh i'll be able to get some footage but i do want to get some uh selfies to share on social media I, it didn't really cross my mind as i wanted to get like um get a feel of what it's like to work behind the scenes but yeah that's where we're at right now but anyways i gotta go to the bank get some cash and then we'll go to the fair so the fairgrounds still closed for a little bit I'm probably gonna go back there shortly just until the if I see the gate is open but it wasn't they did tell me that they would open a little later but they didn't say what time it would approximately be so I went to the nearest gas station and uh and um I actually had a breakfast sandwich and Jolly Rancher smooth this is a Jolly Rancher blue raspberry smoothie uh or slushy I should say I also have some drinks for the day, and um, yeah, so in a little bit, I'll go back to the fairgrounds, hopefully they're open, and then hopefully I can just, uh, you know, enjoy the day from there. So, we're now here at the, at the fairgrounds, and uh, so it's actually 11 o'clock as far as I remember, so yeah, the gate wasn't open, so I just like chilled around town for quite a little while until I was told by... Uh, versus Moss Trucks and Daniel to come over to, and then say the gate's open you can come in so yeah that's where we're at right now so we're, yeah we're not going to be expecting so much work as I probably said countless times before but uh, anything to do to just like like chill around and then like get to learn more is good good enough too and so I got to remember that that I have to take a couple of selfies for versus Moss Truck to properly thank them and such like that oh then the tower is locked i was gonna bring these bring my stuff up there but yeah i guess we gotta wait a little bit longer so oh the van is still there and but i know there's a couple of crush cars that will be switched out later but yeah there's gonna be fresh ones so and then what i'm told is that like on the first show they the trucks are bound to take it easy and then on the second and last show or third depending on what is scheduled they then go to down to go all out a little bit more so yeah thankfully though for today it's not expecting to rain it's it's supposed to be it's supposed to be sunny a little cloudy in areas but sunny for the most part nice and dry and nice and warm so yeah so catching up so we're gonna make some changes to the event tonight let's get this out of the way so we're actually gonna turn this ramp into a popper for, for some drivers to either hit it for a really good sky wheelie or for them to stand it up as a moonwalk. Loud and Dirty actually tried to get a popper last night but couldn't get the proper hit on it. So this is what he's gonna be doing.
Actually, I think he's just going to make it steep enough. Meanwhile, we're going to be moving some cars around. Yeah, I could too. What is he trying to do? <laughs> Went, what? There he goes, and now he's going to dump it. So we're up here in the announcer's booth. Um, he's still trying to get the the popper in motion, he's starting to really perfect it. But now it's raining once more. It's a little hard to see. You can probably see the droplets going through there when it's more in the shade. Uh, so despite the weather being a little bit more promising, it still happened to be rainy in areas. The other thing is though, the good thing was is that like when it stopped raining initially, I managed to bring my stuff there. A couple of drinks that I got, Ocean Blue Lemonade. So what I will do once the rain stops is that I will leave some of my stuff behind and I'm gonna go in the merchandise, merchandise slash autograph meet and greet garage, what we will call it. Just right now, I just wanna wait this out. The other thing, the good thing is, is that is that this rain is gonna wet down the track so it doesn't get all dusty and such. And the fun fact, oh, we have crush cars over there at the end, and we also have one more van stat van over there that we'll use when freestyle comes upon. So I think maybe they will. I don't know exactly where they're gonna put it, but they have. We have a crush car right there that obstacles to make it uh, eligible for cross threading. So yeah. Oh, and um, looks like he might be done. So yeah, we'll catch back in another second. Okay, the, the camera angle's not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna have my first go at uh, BMG. This is, the, this is also gonna be the first time I used a controller in a long time. I'm gonna be quiet for most of the part. What the fuck was that? You remember the controls right? Yeah, I think I should. Oh. 
This will find us. I went back to the main menu again. All right, so it's about 15 minutes before pit party. We have the trucks ready for display. Yeah. Uh, Perry, I got good news. We we're getting we're getting like some poppers all set, so you should hopefully right, be. On, yep, you should hopefully be able to get like a moonwalk in. All right, man. I'll try my best. All right. All right. Anyways, this is what it's like. Yeah, Or if you want to hold me, thanks. Uh, is it going? Yep. Yep. So this is what it's like to uh, prep the trucks for display for the pit party. We're gonna just twirl this around all the BKT tires. Keep it as tight as I possibly can. Once I uh, complete this roundabout, uh, I'm gonna hand the tape back to Caden and he's gonna tie it up for me. Just plain and simple. Keep it tight, but uh, keep it tight, but be gentle. All right. And 
there's a little bit of drizzle coming in. Hopefully it doesn't be too bad. And that's how we do it. Now we're all set. Well, the pit party is underway. Nothing like to get it started with a nice twer uh, nice vanilla soft serve with uh, vanilla drizzle on it thanks to ADK soft serve, Maddox and, uh, Maddox and Bruce ADK, ADK soft serve. Mm. You do get a mostly a vanilla flavor. Mm. But you'll eventually get a taste of the drizzle right here. You'll eventually taste the candy and fruit flavors very very good very delicious okay so we have about 20 minutes left till pit party ends look what's in the horizon guys we have a rainbow forming it's kind of like a double or triple rainbow it's kind of faded but you can see we have a rainbow in the background oh you can see another one right up there this is absolutely heavenly beautiful But Marky Mark, come on up here. Oh no. You come right over here. Marky Mark. Yeah, Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce this gentleman to you. Up until about five minutes ago, his name is Mark Galloway. When the show starts, preliminary show introductions start, he becomes an alter ego, and it is Mark Crush. Mark Crush, this guy has probably logged more miles as a fan than most of these guys have run as owners and drivers. Mark Crush, you're dedicated, you're gonna make it happen, you're a great supporter of everything Monster Truck, you're an asset to the business. Well, I'd like to like uh, thank all these promoters of that great versus Monster Truck Tour. 2023, I know, is gonna be a great year. We're gonna get to more stops, we're gonna bring in more stars, and this tour is gonna be one of the best trending Monster Truck stops in the industry. And you guys are gonna keep coming. Is this thing working? Our <laughs> crush had to stay home, but if I were to like snap my fingers, just <laughs> how about you just shut up, Mark Galloway, and let Mark the Crush Gallows do the talking? All of these. Dominators are going to come rolling onto this dirt, and you all are going to see destruction, domination, action, fire. And then once all these trucks go back to the pits back there, they will rest up and then wait for another competition after another and they are gonna make you people stand on your feet. The really one is all of you to get wrong! Okay, well, I guess we had Mark the Crush Gallows had his time, and now it's time to let Jeff Bersey Take it from here. You're welcome. Yeah, Mark. Mark Cross, ladies and gentlemen. Great job. Okay, we have intro starting right now. Now, I'm pretty sure my good friend Riley has it recorded. But I actually just cut a promo as Mark Galloway and Mark the Crush Gallows, which is my nickname for hashtag Mark Crush. So if I'm able to get a hold of that clip, hopefully I'll put it in the vlog. If you don't see it, I wasn't able to get it. But if you do see it, I hope you liked it. But anyways, intros are starting. So here we go.
Okay, so I had a talk with I had a talk with Steve about um, doing like a uh, doing like a segment with the Quad Wars. Uh, he doesn't want to do it. Um, but I have no grudges against Steve. He's a great guy overall. Um, now, for those of you who were expecting it, I'm sorry for letting you down. But you know, whatever happens, you know it's business. But thankfully, though, thankfully though, uh, Chaos Corbin um, is well. He's down with it when he he does plan to start his own tour at some point. So he'll get me in a segment when it comes to Quad Wars, but unfortunately though that it didn't come to, just didn't come to that. But anyways, uh, 
we'll just hopefully we'll have to enjoy this show for what it is.
Well, that's a wrap for Saratoga. Shows were pretty solid. Well, I mean, the track was also a makeup for last night, but unfortunately, a couple of the trucks had to break before the wrap. So I'm gonna just be taking one last walk through the track. Say goodbye to everybody and then I'm gonna head back to the hotel, hit the hay for the night, and then I'm gonna head the trip back home. But yeah, that's the wrap for Saratoga. It was an honor to work with versus monster trucks to try to get a gig here. I have about one or two more for uh the year, but uh hopefully things come around. Hopefully I can get more gigs working with these guys, and then hopefully uh I'll be any I'll be some step I'll be a few steps closer to working my out way my way up into this industry. So that that's about it. Well, I'm back at the hotel. We're wrapping up. That We've just wrapped up Saratoga for the debut season of Versus Monster Trucks. Um, if anything, if Marilyn comes around for me, if I'm free and if the distance is fair, then hopefully I should be able to go to work there at the show too. There is a couple of uh, other shows up in New York, but they're just very further out, which I mo most likely might not be doing. But yeah, but anyways, I'm going to hit the hay for the night and uh, we'll hit head home from there. Good night, guys. All right. It's my last day here in Saratoga. Uh, so Sarah actually also texted me when I woke up and uh, she actually invited me like since she lives like right here in the upstate, not here in Saratoga, somewhere else in the upstate. Um, she actually invited me to at least come pay at least a little bit of a visit. Just so I can see her house for the first time. She did have a house. Uh, we we have like a... My dad owns like a, a small house up in... Um, up in right where Woodstock is. Don't remember the town, but it's like right where Woodstock took place. I know it's actually called another town, uh, but it's in the upstate. But I'm going to call it Woodstock because basically you might have done research and yada, yada, yada. All the history about like basically the biggest music festival in all of history. But uh, she actually bought another house in the upstate. Uh, that other house that she stayed in briefly, it's actually going to be used for something else. Uh, probably, I think, an Airbnb, I guess. I don't really know. But I'm actually probably going to stop over there for a little bit, probably like an hour or two, just so I can see the house and catch up a little bit with her and also tell her what this weekend was like. So, yeah, I'm just going to start packing my stuff right now. And, um, yeah, we're going to head out and then head to her house. I'm actually going to stop for some breakfast first. And then after, then I'll stop at her house. So let's hit the road. 10 a.m. So I'm gonna stop to have a quick bite, actually. Egg sausage, cheese and potato, egg and cheese wrap, a chicken and cheese, actually. Uh, a meat lover's bagel egg witch, uh, breakfast pizza. And I also got two drinks. With one, I got Mountain Dew Livewire. 
and this is if i can show you um steward shop refresher blue raspberry it's like kind of like a lemonade kind of flavor so yeah ready yeah Take the, oh, there's a deer right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where we take the quads back here. We're not gonna go all the way out back because it's really rough. And I just cleaned it. I'm trying to keep it clean. Me and Sarah, we have fires right here. Oh, the, yep, there he is. Oh, yeah, see it? Yeah. Yep, let him walk in. Yep. And I see, yep, I see that. And then it goes all, the property goes all, you can take that trail right there, Mark. Yeah. And you go all the way down and all the way into the back. So it ripped like a stream. Wow. wow. We started cutting down trees with the chainsaw. So Chris actually has a project that he's basically building. Is it still in process? No, he used to, he just needs a motor. Oh. So this is like his Jeep that it's basically being converted into like a rock crawler. Well, it's actually a, a half, half of a, half of a crawl, half of a rock crawler, but it's mainly a Jeep. Yeah, it has the lights on it. But yeah, it's, it's like any other Jeep, really. Really? Yeah. Make a big one that I made it. I wish I could have batteries. If the batteries were on, you could see all the lights. I have the big orange lights there. There's lights in the back. Uh huh. This is a well, little lawnmower. Your dad's old lawnmower. Is it? Does it? Is it? Are we being? Is it being kept here for like? Uh, he, matter? he got another one at the house, and he gave me this one. Oh yeah. But yeah, this it's, it does need some work. Yeah, it needs some love. Oh shit! <laughs> Miscalculated my step. Are they often from right over here? Yeah. They're underneath the shed. Oh. No, I don't see any moving from what I see. Stop it. Hello. 
Chris has a lot of crazy machines. So he actually has more badass looking quads that we have right here that are more like racing racing ones and such that I could use like if I was on a quad wars. So yeah. He also has some snowmobiles. This eight, this quad at, at the moment is the only one working. The other ones were just the other ones that he just showed me that I rode before are not in the best shape. His helmets. He even has a dirt bike. They just need a tune-up. That's yeah. all. Exactly. Small tune-up. Yeah. Oh, you know, like, the, there's actually quad wars that happens at independent monster truck shows. I was just wondering that, like, if, if by any chance, when when you get these ones working, I definitely would like to borrow one. Yeah? You want them? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. That would be great. Gotta learn how to ride them first. They're oh, yeah. They're not just, like, they're not like the quads. Oh, oh, yeah. No, absolutely, no, absolutely not. My hair is a complete mess right now. But we're here at Sarah's house, right here in Bethel Woods. Look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. Many people say that they wanna, there's people that say they wanna go upstate to live and yeah, they feel free. They would feel free one day. Down there where we were just at is where they, where they go with the ATVs. And actually what they told me, what they plan to do is that like down there in the woods, they want to set up like a campsite with like uh, hot, with homemade um, like um, campgrounds or something just to sell them out as Airbnb. And there's also going to be like a mini track out there for the uh, dirt bikes and ATVs. By the way, excuse me just for that. But we're now going to take a look around the house so I can show you guys myself. Deja, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright. So their house is basically um still in development. They're they're just um still putting some stuff together. There's gonna be plans to put a uh, flat screen TV mounted here on the wall. Um as you see right here there's like still some bits that still need to be put up. I think that could be that's probably the gutters. Deja right here. Like, this is her basically where she rests as of right now since she's a puppy. She also uh, climbs up on these chairs. She likes, she basically is active to escape and such. She's basically gonna fall everywhere I go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she, she walks like right in front of me. <laughs> no, Deja, not right now. Uh, Deja's bed. This is the kitchen. She's basically a U shape. This is the first restroom, kind of small. And ATV clock, nothing much here. Close this door. Yep, so right here is where Deja chills out. This is the, this is the first upstairs. Is there a switch there is? Which one is the correct one? Mom and dad are here. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, if you're going up there, can you bring these with you? Sure. It's heavy. Alright. These are going upstairs right now. I'm going to put, I'm going to put them in the office for right now. This is uh, Sarah and Chris's office. There's a couple of furniture. There it was from Dee Dee's house, lamp, desktops, right here. Basically where we're at is the bedrooms, Sarah and Chris's, flat screen TV up there, another restroom, we have a closet, another restroom, there is, oh, Two guest rooms. There's Pop. That's my great Pop. Uh, yeah, so this is the one guest room. So need to put in like a wall cover. This is the second guest room. S smaller bed than usual than the rest. 
one arm chair, side desk, bed, and right here we have a window that that shows the backyard and the entire outfield. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you the man cave. Mom and dad are here, so I'm gonna try to make it quick. I'll you guys a little bit. Hey, Dej. This is the man cave. Uh, down here is the garage. Through this door is a garage. That's the pantry. This is the man cave where they can chill out, play video games, watch TV. There's that's my old bean bag that you might have seen in old videos of mine. Some other picture frames and old dining set that used to be Dee Dee's too. And this is uh, this is basically the man cave where we all can chill out and such. And that's basically a tour of the whole house. Well, it's time to go home. I kind of overstayed my welcome a little bit. I mean, not not exactly, but have work. I just really need to hit it. But you know, I just thought. Why not come up here while I'm upstate and see what Sarah's house is like? So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick because I'm not allowed to park over here, but this is where Woodstock was. Though I might be a little bit off where it is because I think it's further up there, but this right here is where the museum the museum's quite up there. But as you see this layout right where these rocks are, this is where the stage stood. And this is also where people had all their camps and such. And you know, it was said to be, you know, 37,000 people, but people came from the streets, the woods, everywhere. And then they would just fill out, they filled out this entire field, everything. And then everything, it got so crowded that the police and security wouldn't stick around. And then people would just walk in without paying anything and, or without a ticket. And then Jimi Hendrix had his legendary performances over there so yeah this is where history took place and it was crazy so yeah I though I might be wrong and the, the it might be a little bit further up but either way this is the exact area where Woodstock took place that legendary music festival that no one will ever forget and you know so many crazy memories that I can talk about but yeah also as you see in this there's a Woodstock symbol right up there so yeah now it's time to go home. Well, I'm finally back home. It was a crazy weekend. And, and I know there's going to be more coming. Um, so, anyways, guys, we're going to wrap up the vlog here. There is a few things I would like to talk about. But once I'm able to vlog again, well, I mean, once I get more energy to do another vlog, then once I get the energy to, uh, you know, do another vlog. I'm sorry. Like, the reason why I'm saying that is because, like, I'm just, like really burnt out from this weekend is was from what i feel like but i'll see you guys later thanks for watching this vlog just be sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe for more this is mark alloy signing out and i'll see you guys again next time